Good morning everybody and welcome to our service of the word from St Peter and St Paul's Church Greys. My name's Carol Cockcroft, I'm a minister in training and the Reverend Cathy will be leading us through the service this morning. Our theme is Jesus the Good Shepherd who calls us by name, keeps us safe and brings us into life with all its fullness. And what's lovely about this morning is that the folk of our church from their own homes will be bringing their offerings of worship into the service. So let us begin. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us new life and hope. He has raised Jesus from the dead. God has claimed us as his own. He has brought us out of darkness. He has made us light to the world. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And now we come to our time of confession. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives for God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. And we say together, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. God so loved the world that he sent his only Son to be our Saviour. Forgive us our sins, Make us holy to serve him in the world, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we bow our heads for the collet. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And we come now to our readings. You might see some very familiar faces doing these. A reading from Acts, chapter 2, verses 42 to 47. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods, and divided them among all, as any one had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favour with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the Gospel according to John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Very truly I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. 
Therefore Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Here ends the Gospel reading. Thank you for reading us those words from the Bible. And now the Reverend Tony is going to speak to us and share some of his thoughts on those words that we've heard today. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in, in the Lord. It's uh, really good to be able to share this morning. And I'm going to be sharing from the gospel that was read out to you from John chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. And here we see a very lovely, uh, actually, uh, story. You know that when Jesus spoke to people, he always spoke, or not nearly always, spoke to them in parables. And this parable, he tells about he, how he is the, the shepherd to his flock and says some very important things. He says, I tell you the truth, the man who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The man that enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. You see, in those days, the days of Jesus, they, were, they used to have these pens uh, where the shepherd would go in with the sheep and they would actually have a gate and he would actually lie down across against it so he could protect the sheep, uh, uh, especially from wolves and from people trying to come and steal it. Now, that's how it was in, in those days. Um, the... Uh, it's very important because this story will resonate with nearly everybody because that's the thing that you did. You actually was a, were a shepherd and, a she and you kept lots of sheep. Um, but here he says that the man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. The watchman opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He uh, calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. How important is this? When you and me gave our hearts to Jesus, the Holy Spirit came upon us. And it's through his word and spirit that we hear his voice and we follow him by faith. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, it says here, but they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. But you know what happened, unfortunately, he used this figure of speech, but they don't really understand what he was talking about. So Jesus comes out and plainly tells them, you know what? I tell you, I am the truth. I am the gate of the sheep. All whoever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. My dear brothers and sisters, during these uh, times of panic and uh, of great crisis, pandemic, let us not open the door to fear, to anxiety and panic, uh, because we need to be assured that Jesus is a gate and he is a spiritual gatekeeper of our lives. And he came to give us the fullness of life so that you and me, could trust and live a life full in him. He says that his love endures forever. Philippians 4.13, that uh, he strengthens us uh, by his, the power of his spirit, you know. Um, so let's believe. And I believe that uh, the Lord is doing something great and he's speaking to us and, uh, and so, so many different ways. Every Sunday we have a live stream and more people are, are being reached out than ever before. Let's keep on praying that we become uh, strong because I believe that change is here and is here to, to stay. Uh, change, uh, we, we, we're now more into community than ever before. So I leave you with this. Keep your eyes on Jesus because he came so that there you might, you might have life and have it to the full. 
In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Tony. Lots to think about. And now, Archie has been kind enough to record The Lord is My Shepherd. And the words are going to be on the screen so that you can sing at the top of your voices or if you want to think about and ponder on Tony's words, you can sit quietly and let it wash over you and just follow the words as the words go through. Thank you, Archie. Let us declare our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and we say together Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures he was buried he was raised to life on the third day in accordance with the scriptures afterwards he appeared to his followers and to all the apostles this we have received and this we believe Amen. So now we come to a time of intercession. Father God, thank you for love and care. We pray for people in need in this day, for those who are ill and worried or feeling alone, and for all those who are lost someone they love. We think about those we know, especially family, friends, neighbours and work colleagues, and ask you to com comfort and guide them. Help us to help each other. We pray for those who care for others in the NHS, in care homes and in their own homes. Give them strength and rest. Guide those who are working on treatment and on a vaccine for this virus. We pray for those who make decisions on our behalf for our Prime Minister, government and for our local councillors. Help us make, help them make the right choices. We pray for everyone trying to learn at home and everyone trying to teach. Give us all love and patience. 
We pray for our families, especially for those who are not with us. We think of those we love. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for those heartfelt prayers. Now, normally in church, we would come to our time to sing our offertory hymn. Unfortunately, we are not together and it's a bit difficult to pass the plate around for our collection. But we want to thank all those that give electronically at this time. And it is difficult, we know it is difficult. Um, but we're just reminding you, if you like an envelope, you have envelopes. Perhaps after this, you would pop off put your money in the envelope and keep it safe until we get back to church again because we will be together again at some point. If you'd like to write a cheque as an extra donation or as your offering, you can write a cheque and then put this in an envelope and send it to the office or pop it into the office. Somebody will collect it and deal with it then. I'd like to finish with a closing prayer written by the President of the Methodist Conference. So let's pray. Loving Father, we are not people of fear, we are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety, we are people who protect our neighbour's safety. We are not people of greed, we are people of generosity. We are your people, God giving and loving, wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Amen. And uh, a final blessing, but before I do that, at 11 o'clock we're going to have a make your own tea and coffee, bring your own biscuits, a chat and a catch up, and we'd love you to join us. If you haven't got the link already, it's the same link as last Sunday, then please get in touch with Darren and he'll put your email on and send you the link. So a final blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all whom you love always. Amen.